Withings BPM Core is the world's first smart blood pressure monitor that can also help detect a variety of cardiovascular diseases that are more common among people with hypertension. And it does it all from the comfort of your home. This three-in-one device provides systolic and diastolic blood pressure, plus heart rate to detect and monitor hypertension, an electrocardiogram for ECG record and atrial fibrillation detection, and a digital stethoscope to listen for signs of valvular heart diseases. Here's how to get started. First, download the HealthMate app onto a compatible smartphone or tablet and follow the quick instructions to set up the device via Bluetooth. Once paired, BPM Core will be able to record your data without needing to have your phone on you. Now, let's see how to take your first measurement. Sit in a comfortable position with a straight back and uncrossed legs. Relax for five minutes before starting the measurement. Roll up your sleeve and insert your left arm. The cuff should be placed directly on the skin. Tube along your inner arm with the button on top. Don't wrap it too tightly. You should be able to insert two fingers between the cuff and your skin. The stethoscope should be placed so the flat surface is in contact with your chest. To take your blood pressure, place your arm on a table and keep it level with your heart. Push the button once to turn it on and once more to start the measurement. When the device shows an ECG pictogram, place your right hand on the metal tube and make sure the stethoscope is against your chest. At the end, your systolic, diastolic, and heart rate readings and AFib detection results will be displayed on the device. Slide your finger on the light trail to assign the reading to the correct user. Press the button to confirm and assign. BPM Core can support up to eight users. All results are sent to the app via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth if you did not set up Wi-Fi. You also have unlimited storage in the HealthMate app. When you open the app after a measurement, you'll see your blood pressure with easy to understand color-coded results, plus ECG and heart sounds right on your timeline. You can easily share your blood pressure history with your doctor. Concerning the ECG, here are the results you may see. Normal sinus rhythm, a normal sinus rhythm means your heart is beating in a uniform pattern. Atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation occurs when the two upper chambers of the heart move chaotically, instead of pumping regularly. This creates a very jumpy baseline on the ECG graph. Inconclusive. An inconclusive result means the recording can't be classified. This can happen for many reasons, such as not resting your arms on a table during a recording, or perhaps your device was too loose on your arm. You can also easily share your ECG signal via PDF with your doctor. Concerning the VHD, you can replay the sounds of your heart and you may see these results. Normal heart sounds, which means no sign of VHD detected. Signs of valvular heart disease, meaning the measurement shows signs of a VHD it's then recommended you get in touch with your doctor. Inconclusive. The recording can't be classified and you need to take a new measurement. Now let's see how to recharge the device. BPM Core is rechargeable via micro USB. Simply plug it in with the provided cable and charge it for approximately three hours. BPM Core lasts up to six months with one charge. That's it. We hope you enjoyed getting to know BPM Core.